Welcome to the Artisan Studio and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the space that I work in. So my reading room space um, as well as our studio space. Maybe just a brief glimpse because <laughs> it's crazy. So on this side here that is our studio and it's kind of exploded. <laughs> we had um, an art show that we had to prepare for and some birthdays and Mother's Day. <laughs> so my kids and my husband and everyone kind of working in here kind of went all nuts. So yeah, big messy studio space, but I'll give you a quick glimpse anyways. So this is kind of, oh, we got our big, big tree here. Some art books, paintings that I'm working on. I'll just do a spin so you can kind of see. So, some different surface areas. My kids like to go there to paint. My husband's little work area. Some inspiration for him. And then the closet with some su supplies behind here as well, like different art supplies and projects that are uh, drying and waiting to be glazed or taken care of. But, yeah. So that's kind of the studio space, so then if you kind of follow me this way, there's our washroom. <laughs> and then turning right here, we're kind of going and entering into more of the reading room space. Okay, so this is now kind of like that space that we're kind of enter entering for the reading room. Um, so I have this little stand set up just in case the clients are wanting any um, any jewelry or crystals or anything like that. I make different um, crystal jewelry. Here's a malachite tree of life and some different crystal earrings, little chakra bags. We do these wooden um, necklaces now as well with some sacred geometry crystals. You can just grab them. There's a little altar plate, pentacle plate. A tree, mandala rocks, and painted stuff. Yeah, so so that's kind of like the jewelry end. And then this here, um, that's my husband's sculpture. But uh, up here is actually a lot of spiritual books and chakras. And most of these I actually haven't even read yet. Um, we just got them. So we kind of filled the whole space, which is really nice. And then, so I'll kind of give you some perspective here. So there it kind of goes. And then we kind of enter the reading room space. So this is the reading room. Give you just kind of a bird's eye view here first. It's a really nice space. I really like working it, in it. So up here is a very large painting that I've done. It's actually going to be the Ace of Cups painting. I'm still refining it though. And some crystals that are for purchase. And I do these Tree of Life window hangings, so those are kind of all there. So yeah, I like to set up some of the stuff that uh, people can buy when they come for a reading. Sometimes they want other things as well, or they might need um, some extra crystal love. And then I have some some of my artwork up as well. This is the High Priestess card that'll be for the tarot deck. It's the uh, Monsters Within Tarot, that's kind of the idea. And this is this little candle area. I got an extra card for the from the Wild Unknown, so I put it up there <laughs> with the candles. And then just some ceramic leaves that we made. This is kind of like the outside. From my end over here, you can kind of see it. So the doorway with a little curtain. In there is like a whole bunch of storage um, just for trade show kind of stuff. I'll show you. It's jam packed. <laughs> so yeah, when we're setting up a table or a trade show, there's my Reiki table back here. Um, tarot bag for when I'm traveling with the tarot pillows and blankets back there so yeah it's all just kind of jewelry making stuff all just jammed in here <laughs> and the 
and a kid's game. <laughs> All right, so now to the reading table. So I have some different tarot decks down, some different crystals. These are all my personal ones, so not for sale. But I can kind of show you some of the stuff that, are, that I keep on the table. Some books from the tarot decks and oracle decks. And some of the boxes. I like to keep things in the boxes. So I actually have my sister-in-law's mythic tarot in here right now stored, just to kind of have a place to keep it. And then some different journals and things that I write on for, um, like for instance here, I do the channeled readings as well as in to or as well as tarot readings. So this I use some fancy paper to be able to write the person's um, channeled reading. I just write it directly on here right while I'm in meditation. So then they can take that home and review it if they want to look at it again. So that's kind of the little fancy paper. And this here is actually a little journal I've just started for, um, and I just kind of make some notes on for the tarot deck that I'm working on, the Monsters from Within Tarot. So yeah, just kind of got a few pages here of, so far of how far I've gotten with what I want to do with each card. I have only just started so I'm not too far into that project yet. But yeah, I have a few other few other, th other things here. Crystal books and uh, Tarot with the Twist is there. Uh, Marcus Katz. Um, some different art books. This is like business planning kind of stuff I've started. Because um, we're working on actually making a store. We're getting a store up and going. And this is like my own personal channeling and notebook. And then I've got more of a um, kind of like a book of shadows kind of book there. And so, yeah, usually I have the two chairs for the clients. And then I sit on this side and that's my little fancy garbage can. <laughs> um, these are some of the, the decks that I keep on hand. Um, yeah, right, ready to go. As well as, of course, the... The wild unknown right there. But, um, yeah, so these are just some of the pouches, and then I can just shadow scapes and got the fairies here. Um, oh gosh, what is it even called? Brian Froud's uh, fairy oracle deck there. Tarot Illuminati. Yeah, so my different, different tarot decks, and I got one little Lenormand here. I use that more for myself than clients. I do more for tarot and oracle. Um, yeah, so this is kind of my space. And it's it's a nice space. I, I really enjoy it. So that's why you probably see a lot of videos. And you probably even see, <laughs> look at this, you see clouds and stars <laughs> up here. This was a, actually our baby nursery, so that's why it's like the, the colors that it is. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a nice space to have. It's um feels really good working in here. Um up by the windowsill. I've got like extra pens and pencils. My my beeswax candles that have all kind of melted. <laughs> Some incense areas. And I like my little cauldron and I keep like oh, I can't really see it, but there's palacento in there. And just some more crystals in our outside. <laughs> and my puppy sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so that is it. This is... Oh, here's one more treat. That's my little personal one. <laughs> this is our... Well, my reading room. And our studio previous. So, yeah. I thought I'd just kind of show you. I know it's kind of hard to kind of get the whole view in here with just a little tiny camera. But, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I, I like filming spaces. They're kind of fun. So, yeah, let me know uh, what kind of space do you guys read in. Um, the kind of thing is really, for me, I really, uh, I really like spaces and, you know, working in spaces and how they work for us. And, yeah, so um, I hope you guys like this, this video and share it. And if you, uh, if this is your first time 
checking out the Arson Studio. I hope you subscribe and like this. So, you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.